I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. We despised him and rejected him. He endured suffering and pain. No one would even look at him. We ignored him as if he were nothing. But he endured the suffering that should have been ours, the pain that we should have bore. All the while we thought that his suffering was punishment sent by God, but because of our sins he was wounded, beaten because of the evil we did. We are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by the blows he received. Indeed, it is amazing that a religion was founded on the experience of utter shame of a God that dies the death of a condemned criminal. You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead is one of the best attested facts on record. There were so many witnesses to behold it that if we do in the least degree receive the credibility of men's testimonies, we cannot and we dare not doubt that Jesus rose from the dead. The resurrection is a fact better attested than any event recorded in any history, whether ancient or modern. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Only in the cross of Christ will we receive power when we are powerless. We will find strength when we are weak. We will experience hope when our situation is hopeless. Only in the cross is there peace for our troubled hearts. The resurrection of Jesus changes the face of death for all his people. Death is no longer a prison, but a passage into God's presence. Easter says you can put truth in a grave, but it won't stay there. You can nail it to a cross, wrap it in winding sheets, and shut it up in the tomb, but it will rise. 